Hello and welcome to video number two. My name is Lee Sanford, I'm the founder of Trading College and on video number one in this mini-series I spoke about the five fundamental things that you must know or do before you start trading. On this video, video number two, we're going to get into the exciting things. We're going to talk about spotting big profitable trades. So let's dive into the charts and get on with the lesson. Okay, so here we are in video number two, talking about spotting big trades. I mean, what is a big trade? Well, a big trade is where you place a trade with your broker because you've got a signal from a chart and you are looking to stay in that trade for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks until you get an exit signal, okay? So I'm always looking for those big profitable trades because you can do less and make more. Let me say that again, you can trade less and make more. You don't have to be a day trader. You know, we all uh, learn to trade live. I say, who wants to be a day trader? And everyone puts their hands up, but it's tiring, it's hard work. Swing trading, well, it's not hard work. I mean, there's much harder jobs than day trading in the markets, but what I'm saying is, wouldn't it be good, you know, this Dow trade here, we buy here and then sell it when it turns red all the way up here. Buy it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days later, we're up 400 points. And if you're trading in the markets, 400 points is is a big move, 400. If you're doing it with one pound a point or one lot, you're up $400, 400 pounds, um, 4,000 or 40, depending on what position size you're doing. So, you know, a, four, a 400 point move is nice. You know, those are the ones you want to get into. So I'm always looking for big profitable trades and looking at gold here, we had a lovely big move on gold from 1300, 1550, which was a big move. Um, and then if you're looking at the British pound, you know, the turmoil over the last several, several months, this went down in value. See how this went down and down and down and down and down. You know, we went from 129 to that's a 900 point pip move guys multiply that by your position size whatever account you're trading it's still 900 pips so what am i looking for and how to you know how to trade this stuff i mean i'm looking for big moves uh, and so i use what we call the storyteller down here this one here when it's nice and quiet, when the red histograms are flat, and when the green histograms are flat, I'm looking for those then to start to go into a big move. Now, it doesn't matter whether you've got a full-time job. You can do this in the evening at 7 o'clock every evening. You can do it on a Tuesday at 8 o'clock, scanning the markets, and I use a scanner. So I look, I use our tools, our indicators, and I go on here, and I run the momentum trigger scanner, and I look in here and it gives me all the markets that are setting up for a big move. So I do this on a Monday night on Scan Club when we build our hot list. And our hot list is, is where we take and plan those trades out of. So I'm looking for big moves. So the indicator down below here is pretty much built on momentum. Okay, so price and time and also standard deviation. So if it moves too far away from the mean, like it did here, it snaps back. Now we could take advantage of those snapbacks. So if it drops too far, it snaps back. If we start to move down, we get small histograms, that means the momentum. It's like putting your foot on the accelerator. You start off slowly, then it starts to build up and it gets faster and faster. And you can see here, it gets faster and faster and faster and so it means we make more and more and more profit so here we're four or five histograms into this move momentum starting to pick up and we could see an accelerated move to the upside so first things first run the screener on monday nights just run the screener here and look for those big profitable trades so that's what i'm looking for let's have a little look around for some other trades that have set up and moved nicely here was the aussie new zealand now we looked at this in our scan club on Monday nights. You can see we've had a downtrend. We know what a downtrend is, lower lows and lower highs. Profitable trade, profitable trade, profitable trop, profitable here. Then we go up and what is, what's that there? That is a small histogram pointing up. It's the first one from one pointing down. We go up, 
pump back, up, we're long in this zone, back, long, back, okay? Now at the high here, are we full on? Is the accelerator full on? The answer is yes. Why not take some profits here? So this is a 200 plus point move just here, guys, in half a month. You know, so if you're doing two or three of those a month, then how good is that? Absolutely fantastic. Euro yen, just picking any market here. So we can go long and we can go short. Okay, what about this? Downtrend, 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 small histogram, short, small histogram, short, medium histogram. Are we here extended? Is the price going to snap back? Yes, so it snaps back. So look at that move all the way down here, 800, uh, 400 point move to the downside, a beautiful move in the Euro Yen. Um, Bitcoin, let's have a little look at Bitcoin. So I'm hunted, I don't wanna, I'm not worried about small 10 point trades, it's exhausting for people. I wanna look at trades that are setting up for big, big moves. I wanna see these moves on Bitcoin, these moves in Bitcoin are like 4,000 points moves, guys, okay? This one just here, when we get a flat histogram, this one here alone is 2,000 points, 2,000 points in one, two, three, four days, times your position size, you do the maths, okay? Now we have a little one here. We're starting to set up another one here as well. And a nice little breakout's coming soon that we're looking for. If we don't get the signal, then we don't need to take the trade, okay? Um, and what about the German DAX? Let's have a little look at that market here. So German DAX has got some other lines that I'm happy to teach you about. But what about that? Was that a small histogram along with the PTS? It's a nice move here. Pushed up, down, back, down. Are we getting high? Yes. So when we get high, it sometimes rolls back over. So look at that beautiful one. So if this is the way you can grow a small size trading account, for example, if you've got a small size trading account and you know, you're not gonna get 100% winning trades, but let's say trade number one goes 200 points. You make 200 points Okay, trade number two, you lose 25 points. You're gonna have losing trades. Trade number three, you make 600 points. Trade number four only makes 50 points. Trade number five here makes 250 points. And then trade number six loses you 75 points. If you do the net here, you'll be profitable. Okay, so managing the risks, managing the losses, and going for those big trades. If you're always going for 20 point profit and you've got a 20 or 15 point stop loss, your account's gonna just go like this. And eventually the charge is that you're going to lose money. So I want to trade less and make more. And this is where we plan our trade setting up in the markets all the time. We plan the start of new trends. We plan the top in formation of the end of a trend and we also identify when the markets are going sideways when and when what not to do or what to do or do nothing so I'm going to teach you how to do that uh, and certainly I'm going to teach you how to spot those um, you know, those reversal trades on the next training video but I just want to give you a heads up that you're watching this video because you've taken the time to you know listen and dive into these education, these two education videos with me. We are launching soon, and I'm not gonna give you all the details until the next video, but we are launching soon a very special academy here at Trading College. And we are looking for founder members to be the first people to um, join our founding membership. What that allows you to do is join me every Monday evening at 7 p.m. to go find the big profitable trades. So it's on a webinar on a Monday night every week. It gets recorded if you can't make it. And I'm gonna be showing you the trades I'm setting up for the week and what I'm looking for in the marketplace. You can do see me do this live every single Monday evening. It's a very, very popular webinar that I do every Monday with hundreds and hundreds of people in that webinar with our members. 
from our other programs, but we are going to soon be launching our academy. Not quite yet. There's going to be a window of opportunity for people that want to get involved and trade alongside myself on those Monday evenings. I'll give you more details in the next video. But the next video, we're going to talk about how to spot the end of a trend. So we spoke a little bit about uh, the fundamentals on video number one. Video number two, we're talking about video, you know, these these big moves, spotting these big moves. Now, video training number three here, I'm going to teach you how to spot my topping pattern in the markets because I wrote a book about four years ago called Goals to Gold, and it was talking a lot about the trades I do with reversal patterns, understanding when the market's going to reverse. And as a trader, you certainly want to know when those markets are going to reverse. So we got the best of everything here. We got the best of the trends, and then we got the best that we could trade reversals and topping patterns as well. All right, look out for that next video, guys. It's all about reversal patterns and how I use reversal patterns to make trades. All right, especially that 8,100 trade that I took overnight on the Dow. I'm going to show you how to spot those trades yourself. All right, speak to you soon. Look out for that next video.